So Joe Biden had a uh, wound up having a phone call with you know who yesterday about how to handle this, and they both said it went well. But is he really going to listen to Joe, Megan? Uh, I don't know why he would li be listening to his opponent, but I was happy to hear that they had a cordial conversation. I think that's good for democracy and good for the morale of the country right now. I think pivoting off of what Sonny and uh, Joy were saying, you know, I don't know if this White House and our government at large really could have bungled this more. It has been a complete existential awakening for me, and I don't care how naive the American public thinks I am. I have believed in America and our institutions from the moment I was born on. And I will say, when you see senators on both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans, um, being investigated for selling stock because they were obviously alerted new information about the severity of this virus and wanted to move their stock around to make money, in my opinion, which uh, looks quite like war profiteering, um, we're living in a different time. We're living in a different time where there is a rot in Investing our government and our institutions and our leaders mm -hmm. that is much graver and more extreme than I ever could have possibly imagined. And there's a reason why the American public has a healthy level of distrust from everyone in the administration on down. And I think going forward, yes, of course, we should listen to Dr. Fauci. But I do think when I am told uh, a mask doesn't do anything, it's go out, it's fine, don't worry about the mask. And then a few weeks later, I'm being told that if I want to leave my home, I have to be wearing a mask. Obviously, I think that there is a high likelihood that I could still be being lied to by the government. And I think that's why we're in the place that we're in and so many people don't know where to look. And when you're confused, you get tribal. And I think for a lot of conservatives and a lot of Democrats, you're going into their corners. And I think it's a very, very dangerous situation we've entered ourselves in now. And I do blame the top, I think, much like the rest of the women on the show. Well, I, I think one you of the go, things girl. that we all you have go, to girl. give, give I miss uh, you, Joy, power to <laughs> Is the, is the fact that nobody knows anything about this virus. That's the first thing. And the mm -hmm. economic guy gave information. He gave it in late January. He's written two books on China, and so he wanted to stop Chinese people at the border. And my question was, well, how do you know that someone from another country didn't bring it in? The, a lot of this just makes very little sense, but I'm going to stick with the one guy that I don't have any issues with because I know he knows what he's doing and that's Fauci for me. 